Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a LEGO Ninjago Summer 2022 Early Set Review. Today we are looking at set number 71759. This is a 4 plus set and is called the Ninja Dragon Temple. And this will be retailing for $39.99 USD or $49.99 Canadian beginning on August the 1st here in North America. However, everyone else will be able to pick this up on June the 1st. And this is actually sent to me early by Lego slash land to do a review for. Now, I, I have a problem with this whole wave, and this is actually finally going to be a video that I'm going to re finally record this week, and it'll be out um, talking about why I, I think that there's some real failures in that January wave. Um, but this set, I think, is it's actually not bad. For a 4 plus set, just looking at some of the prices of other sets that you get, I'm not saying that this isn't overpriced. I'm saying looking at other 4 plus sets that you would get for this price, I actually think that the value of this is, it's pretty good. Like, I think that you are really getting a lot here. But again, my biggest issue with this entire sub-theme that they created is the characters and minifigures. But without further ado, let's go ahead. Let's take a closer look at this set. So here's the Dragon Temple. I actually, like, this is a really solid build. You almost can't tell that it's 4 plus minus, like, these big plates and the one underneath there. Like, that's what gives it away. Like, honestly, if the roof was a little bit more complete, like, it would be in a normal set. Like, it, it's honestly fine. It, it just, it feels like a little kitty Ninjago playset because it is 4 plus. Uh, the little tree here, I wish it didn't spin that much. Like, I wish it was a little bit more in place. But it's pretty cool. You got some leaves scattered around here as well as this to sort of train. You could uh, have, uh, you know, you got to hit that and jump over it and whatever you got to do there. Um, but here we've got a print there on a 2x2 two two tile that's not new that has appeared in a multitude of sets and uh, this window frame piece I think is really awesome like it, it looks great you've also got uh, the beautiful piece there being used for a rail I think that looks really awesome and again the roof tiling if, if they had just continued this and filled that gap I think that would have been a little bit better um, on the inside there's also a a teacup there and then here you do have the sword of fire and uh, that is the old piece. Um, so it's not using the one of the new pieces that was in all of the crystallized sets, uh, which we've taken a look at all of those videos already. So you can check out a playlist linked at the top here if you want. And here's like this side little cave build. Uh, you can see it's almost like in a rock face there. That's one piece, of course. And then you've got a little dragon egg. And uh, I don't know if that's meant to be like sort of a nest that they built for the dragon. You've got the same sort of roof design that you saw on the other build. And you've got some leaves there as well. And same here with the tree. Um, but yeah, it, it's small. It's a little extra thing, which it's fine. Four plus. Here's the dragon. And I like genuinely the head of this and the mouth i think is really great um it's almost like this fusion dragon of uh, fire and water and this piece here for the neck is actually really cool i don't know if i've ever seen this before maybe i have in another set i just can't remember but the actual posability that that creates here uh for the dragon i think is really neat um it's very impressive now on the inside of the mouth you could uh, modify it and actually attach some things what you could do as well is you could take this piece and actually put it inside the mouth to give it like this fire breathing effect if you really wanted to i don't know the flame's not that big but i like i love the colors of that there the printing on this head is so detailed same over here on the other side you've got a little bit of the chin there the wings the blue and yellow I think look really awesome as well as like look at the leg printing that's using the raptor legs there um, from Jurassic World but uh, they're actually in red and black and it's got some scale printing there on the leg as well I think that's really awesome of course you do also have a spot there for you to actually take one of the ninja included in the set and you could sit them inside of the dragon the tail as well the bill for that it's it's fine pretty solid my biggest complaint with this is Where's the arms? Like, why didn't you include arms? I can't wrap my mind around why. So what I've done is I've actually gone and borrowed the arms from the latest T-Rex uh, from the Jurassic World Dominion sets just to show you how good this looks with the arms. Like, look how much that adds to that. That looks so great. And the wings still can flap. I was thinking maybe they would hit that, but look how awesome that looks. Imagine those in red. It would be perfect. And here is the... Uh, Snake bike. Uh, it's pretty snake bite, snake bike. Haha. <laughs> Anyways, 
Uh, you can see here, like, everything's printed, by the way, which is a plus for all of the four plus sets. Haha, <laughs> another pun. Anyways, um, you could see here, like, that's awesome. That is a very detailed print, and you could use that on a couple of the other sets. Like, that looks really awesome. That's, that, that is a huge advantage for four plus sets. You've got uh, the Lord of the Rings swords there on the side, as well as this bike is actually two pieces there. It's not one solid piece. And, uh, yeah, it drives very smoothly. You can, of course, actually take uh, one of the snake enemies and sit them on inside here. You could have them attach uh, to the handle. You could have the other one standing on the back. You also have this little tail piece here in the back as well that you can move up and down. And here is this side catapult build, and it's very simple. All you do is take one of the cone pieces, put it inside of the catapult there, and you can fling it at uh, the dragon. Here is Nia in this core wave that they've created for Ninjago, this sub-theme. And it's fine. Uh, she's got a really cool design there on the side, which is actually the sort of logo that she has in uh, the golden figure. And that's her pattern. You've also got her symbol there on the side. I love the wrap. Like, her color here in gunmetal gray and the blues, I think, looks really awesome. Like, the contrast between that is awesome. If I were to remove this here, you could see on the back, she's actually got this logo that all the other ninja have. It actually says ninja there um, in that logo she's got the same face from the lego ninjago movie which she's got this uh, smirk there and then this uh, happy expression i also love the katana colors here in this bright blue and then also this red for kai i think that looks great to have the katana in that color the design of this figure again same sort of thing we've got the flame design there on the side his logo's down there on the bottom right of the leg printing I don't know, I've said this in those past reviews, I don't really like the color scheme with the medium nougat, I don't think that really works with the red and the dark yellow, but the dark yellow and red looks awesome for a fire design, I think that looks really great, the contrast between the two, we got the same logo that I was just talking about before, and same Lego Ninjago movie face upset expression there, and this smiling one on the front. Here is the Sneaky Snake and the Cobra Mechanic, now technically speaking, they're the exact same figure. The leg printing is the same. The torso is the same. The coloring of the head is the exact same, which is just something. And again, my biggest problem with this whole wave is just the minifigures aren't as desirable as other waves, specifically comparing it to the crystallized wave. Like, don't get me wrong. They're detailed. The torso printing, the leg printing, all that is really awesome. Um, the only difference here, even though they have the exact same torso printing, just to remove it so you could see, is one has uh, the Lord of the Rings sword and then the other one has a spear. Anyways, everyone, that is my review of the Ninja Dragon Temple. And again, it's fine. It's a four plus set. I honestly think that it's it's not bad for what you're getting here. I think that uh, the dragon honestly is my favorite part, even though it's four plus. I think it's it's pretty cool. I'd love to see someone make like a large version of that, or maybe just you know find a substitute for the arms or something. I, I definitely think that it's possible. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think of this? Be sure to comment down below if you have any ideas or suggestions. Uh, for what they could be doing with this core wave. Uh, I'd love to pass them along. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope you all have a great day. We'll see you all in the next one.